In this lesson, we're going to create another query. But the difference with this one is it's going to use two tables. Before we start, though, I just want to go to the relationships window in our database. So if we go to database tools, relationships, and I want you to remember the fact that these two tables are related via the supplier code field. Now, if I open up the products table, which we're going to include in our query, the supplier code field currently shows the name of each supplier, but it's getting those values from the supplier table. Actually, what's stored in this field is these supplier codes. It's just the lookup produces a drop down, which allows you to show the actual supplier name because it's a lot more user friendly. But the relationship is between the supplier codes. Now, we're going to have to be mindful of this when we create our queries. Let's just close this down. So I'm going to create a query in design view, and I'm going to add a products table. I'm going to add supplier code, product name, category, and list price. Now, if I run this query, what I want to do is only show products from Deshaman Limited. So I'm going to copy that, control C, and I'm going to go back to design view. And I'm going to paste that value under the supplier code column in the criteria column, criteria row. I'm going to click outside of it. And what you will notice is that access always puts quotation marks around a text string when it's a criteria. Now, if I run this, I don't get any results because what's actually stored in that field, the supplier code field, is the supplier code, although it's displaying the name of the supplier. So what I need to do is find out what that supplier code is. So I go to, I'm, so I'm going to open up the supplier table, and Deshaman Limited is SUPDES. So I'll copy that, and I'll paste it into the criteria row. Before I run it, I'm going to close down the supplier table, and now I'm going to run or view the data sheet of my query, and you can see that it works. So that can be a little bit confusing when you see a value in the column, but you can't use it as the criteria, and it's because of the relationships between the tables. You can get around this problem, though, by adding the supplier table to our query. So I'm going to double-click on the supplier table there, and what I'm going to do is add the supplier name to our query. I've dragged it in between those two columns. I'm going to get rid of that now. In fact, what I might do is just get rid of that column entirely. I'll click on it and delete it. And I'm going to view Copy Deshaman Limited, go to Design View, and paste the criteria into the criteria row. And now if I run it, it does work. And the reason why it's worked is because I've used that field from the suppliers table as opposed to the products table, which actually holds the supplier name. And what you can see is that Access has now drawn a line between the two tables to show that there is that relationship. Okay, so I've got Deshaman Limited products but I'm only interested in products within the utensils category. So in a query, you can add more than one criteria. What I'm going to do is add utensils in the, in the category column on the same row as Deshaman Limited. So Records will only be returned by the query if both of these criteria are met. The supplier, man, the supplier name is Deshaman Limited and the category is Utensils. Let's run the query or you can use Datasheet View and you can see that I only get four results. Okay, back to Design View. That, and I'm going to save the query. I'll call this Query. Deshaman Utensil Products. Click on OK. 
and I'll close that query down. I would like you to get as far as that. I would like you to create that query for yourself, introducing both tables and putting those two criteria in on the same row. And once you're done, we'll continue on to the next lesson.